Today's video is a lot of talking. I will warn you beforehand. Basically, I'm just going to be doing like live commentary because um, I'm bored and I can't really just like sit here and talk for 20 minutes because that would be boring. So I'm just going to be like playing some games in the background while I talk. But the main focus of the video is not the gameplay, it's the talking. Because I want to talk about Arya and just make like kind of one final video to talk about why Arya is in such a terrible position right now. And that's not me saying that she's bad balance wise because it's complicated. I mean, she's in a terrible spot because her character in and of itself she's not fun to play as or against she has a very very boring strategy that you have to do to win and her character is fundamentally broken not in the sense of being op but in the sense of not working or just like not functional so today i just want to kind of talk about it and give my complete like gathered thoughts and try to really like articulate everything that i've been saying here and there about Arya instead of just dropping random comments here and there in videos because it always kind of sparks some controversy of people that are like you know they, they want more information but I never really go in depth, so here it is. I'm going in depth. For reference, um, I'm not the best player. By no means am I a pro player or somebody that claims to be the best, but I have um, over 1,800 matches played. I am level 33. You can't see it because my camera's blocking it. And with Arya specifically, um, this is not my peak by any means. I have been higher. I've been in top 1,000 several times, but I've just kind of stopped grinding Arya because I'll get into it. But like, I'm, I'm not just some rando that has her at like rank 800,000 and is giving takes on this. That's my only point. I'm not saying that I'm the best person to ask about Arya. Everything in this video is just my personal opinion and why I feel the way I feel about Arya, but I just thought this was kind of important to get out of the way. So the first thing that I want to mention is probably the most obvious thing. So I know we're going to start off with something that's kind of clear, but it, we'll get into some more niche stuff later on. It's just Arya's dependency on her up special. Her up special is her bread and butter, right? There's not a problem with one specific move being a character's bread and butter. That's that's a thing for like every character in the game. Every character has like a specific move or most characters have a specific move that is like their, their signature move. You know what I mean? Their best move, their most powerful move, the one that they're using the majority of the time that's normal but most of the characters in the game you could take away that move and while the character would get worse they wouldn't be just unusably awful right take shaggy for example his forward kick right his air kick his air kick is extremely good it's like his bread and butter move i would consider it to be and that's the move that everybody talks about that's the move that everybody like you know mentions that's shaggy's signature move is his air kick but take away that air kick you still have a character that's self-sufficient a good melee character is able to counter a lot of moves is able to play a lot of ranges like yes he would be worse because you're taking a move from his kit. But he wouldn't just be completely gutted and destroyed and trash if you take away one single move from his kit. Arya, you take that up special, she's never winning another game. Every single pro on the leaderboard that plays Arya, you take away that up special, they're nothing. They, they don't... There's no reason to play Arya without the up special. And I just think that's not healthy for a character's kit. When when the character is entirely dependent on one move and without that move, they are nothing. That's just, I, I don't like that. And that doesn't mean that all of Arya's kit is trash necessarily, although a lot of her moves are weak. I happen to really like her air neutral. I happen to really like her little uh, backwards slash she does where she like rolls the opposite direction and then turns around and hits. Cause it reminds me of Meta Knight who I used to play sometimes in Smash. So I, I like her other moves. It's just that they're nowhere near the power of the up special and the up special is the only reason that Arya wins games and it, it just kind of encourages spamming the same move over and over which is up special right people get frustrated playing against Arya because they feel like it's just an up special simulator they just feel like they're getting up specialed a million times in a row for the entire match and it's true that's the only real combo that works on Arya right all of Arya's combos and loops involve up special for a reason it's her best move it's the only really good move the only other character in the game that I can think of that is somewhat like this is Iron Giant because if you take away his little grab to death combo he's kind of trash for a while now iron giant's been getting steady nerfs to every other part of his kit but that grab to death combo still remains but if you take that grab to death combo away iron giant will be trash and Arya's sort of in the same position with her up special which i just don't think is healthy for a character the next thing i want to talk about and probably the main thing that makes Arya so dependent on her up special is her lack of any neutral game at all if you don't know what neutral game is basically it is if you're not in a fight neither of you are actively hitting the other person you're just kind of chilling in like this mutual state where you're both waiting for cooldowns to come back you're looking for an opportunity you're kind of approaching each other throwing out some attacks like me and this shaggy right now are in neutral if i ever start a combo on him like right now we're no longer in neutral because i'm actively comboing him he's actively comboing me right but the second that that stops and we go back to both of us being spread out across the map we're just kind of like right now this is neutral again and usually characters have certain abilities that help them with neutral game shaggy for example has his charge up that he can do during neutral game as well as the sandwiches that he can throw both of those moves are very helpful for him during neutral you take a character 
character like Rick. He has his me seeks for neutral. He has his gun that he can shoot for neutral. He has that morph blaster ball thing that he can throw down at the ground for neutral. All of those abilities help him to create space between him and the opponent to get an advantage to start a combo. You take someone like Harley. She has her plushies that she can throw to start a combo and initiate. She has her boxes that she can place for map control and to keep the other person away. Now you take a character like Arya. She has nothing. The only initiation tool that she has is really her dagger, but she has no projectiles that she can use to keep the enemy off of her. She has no map control that she can place. She has no armored moves so that she can kind of take hits from other people and survive their initiation moves. Arya just doesn't have neutral games. So you're kind of stuck at this state where you're just desperately trying to land those up specials the maximum amount of times you can, because the only time that you're really going to be playing at your peak is when you're landing up specials. If you're not landing up specials, you're just not playing well. And this makes Arya have like this really just kind of dumb play style where you're just constantly running at them and trying to hit an up special over and over and over. Like obviously you do some initiating. I happen to like, obviously you do some initiation. Like I happen to like her area neutral like this very much. That's like my favorite initiation tool for her, but she doesn't really have any neutral game at all, which just makes her that much more dependent on that one move, which is the up special. Oh boy. This is one of Arya's worst matchups because Batman has incredible neutral game and Arya has very bad neutral game. So I guess it's kind of perfect timing that I just talked about this and now I'm playing a Batman, but I'll probably lose this game. So the next thing that I want to mention is Arya's really, really terrible recovery, which contributes to her just overall having a horrible kit outside of up special. Like the main thing that I want to mention, like the main point that I want to drive across today is that Arya, besides her up special is a garbage character. And that's like a problem. Arya has really, really, really bad recovery. Her only real recovery move is her side Y, which is this right here. And it's really easily predictable and stoppable. I don't know if stoppable is a word, but it's, it's very stoppable. The other person can just see where you're going, which they can, because the arc is extremely predictable for that move. They can very easily hit you out of it. They just have to attack you, not from directly in front of you. I, I missed the battle. <gasps> I missed it twice. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Okay. Look away. Look away. I, I forgot I had his battering. So on top of Arya having extremely poor neutral game, she also has extremely poor recovery. So this just kind of adds on to the point of like really the only redeeming factor of Arya being her up special. The next thing that I kind of want to mention is uh, her speed. Arya has a play style and a kit that kind of needs her to be fast. Like it feels like it was designed around her being fast. All of her moves require you to be close, right? She's a sword user and she has literally nothing else besides her sword, unless you want to count the dagger that has a very long cooldown. So I guess you can count that, but the vast, vast majority majority of Arya's attacks all revolve around getting in close for sword play. Does that remind you of anybody? Finn, right? But Finn is one of the fastest characters in the game and has an entire ability built into his kit where he can actually buy an item that makes him faster. So it feels like his character was designed around being fast. But then you have Arya who is a very similar like play style and reliability on close range and swords. So you kind of, it feels like you need to have that speed to close the gap and be able to use your sword play abilities. But then she's extremely slow. You guys didn't no, Arya is like the, uh, it's, I think it's the bottom five speeds in the game, if not the bottom three. So you're starting to see why it feels like her character was just kind of designed on an afterthought now. It just, it feels like she was designed in like five minutes and they were like, oh, this will be cool. And like threw her in. And it's weird because you see characters like Rick, like Black Adam, like Stripe that are designed so carefully to have a very specific like play style and a very specific theme and strategy. But then you have a character like Arya that feels like she was made backwards. And it sucks because Arya was my favorite character in Game of Thrones and she's my favorite character in multiverses probably and I really want to play her but it's just like she's in such a weird position right now and it's not even that she's necessarily like a trash pick because her up special is so good that it makes up for her whole kit being garbage her up special is good enough that it can cover the fact that she has no neutral game and she has no ability to recover and she's extremely slow and she's extremely light but it's just like I don't really want to play a character that only has one move you know what I mean I want to string together long complicated combos not up special up up light, up light, up special, up light, up light, up special, up light, up light. What the? What? Thought they fixed servers. Do you think I can't reach you up there? <laughs> What did I even just get hit with? On top of this, um, Arya has very low health. I think I mentioned this. I just want to mention it like super brief. Just as a side note, Harley is the only character that has like never received nerfs, even though she's horrendously overpowered. I don't really, I don't get it. It feels like all the balance changes recently have actually been like pretty good, but then you just have Harley. I haven't heard a word about Harley from anybody at like multiverses in so long. It's just like, did they not like, I feel like everybody mutually kind of agrees that Harley's overpowered, but yet we just like don't ever see any nerfs for her. So like, can we expedite that process, please? I, I really don't think any character 
character in the game is like super OP right now, except except Harley. Like, oh my god, that up special. Oh, it's over for you. It's over for you, sweetheart. Bang. What? My up special didn't connect. No. Bad. No way I die here because she up specials me. What the wait, let me KO her real quick. No, 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 no. Oh, dude. So Harley's health is so low that you're basically like you have half the lives of your opponent. The analogy that I like to use for Arya's health is that it feels like the other player has four lives and you have two sometimes. Because, like, for example, you obviously have two lives, right? That's how the game works. But let's say you're playing against a Superman, right? The majority of the time when you're playing against a Superman, you're gonna be dying at about 75%. And the majority of the time when you're playing against Superman, you're gonna have to get him to at least like 150 before you can even consider like actually trying to kill him, right? So it feels like for every life that you have, he's got two. So at the end of the day, you have to kill him four times the amount that he has to kill you. So it's just like, it, it's a really weird scenario where you just feel like you're at a disadvantage for existing. Overall, when you look at Arya as an entire character, you have a character where every single part of them is very weak, but they have this one move that's so, so overtuned that it just stands out. And then you have this character that is dominating leaderboards because of this one move. The problem isn't necessarily that one move. It's just that she's so reliant on that one move because of how the character itself is designed. I don't think that the up special would be as much of a problem, even in its current state. I don't think it would be as much of a problem if you weren't encouraged to spam that move when you're playing Arya. It feels like when you load into a match with Arya, the game wants you to just spam the up special the entire match because that's all they really give you. So if you if you buff the rest of Arya's kit or rework the rest of her kit and, and make her actually feel like a sword character, like in a sword assassin character, make her design similar to Finn where you actually feel like your character has like some some chemistry within them where their their abilities work with each other rather than just feeling like you have this awkward lopsided mess but this one really good move that you can use without any skill I just I don't know I even with this whole video that I've had to explain it, I still feel like I didn't really put it into words perfectly but I hope that there was some like logic to this and it came across correctly it's hard to explain perfectly because Arya is just in a really really weird state and i don't even honestly know like how to feel about certain parts of her kit i just kind of made this video as more of a brain dump than anything else so i hope you guys gained something from it overall though nothing in this video is meant as a complaint towards like multiverses or, or the devs like i i truly do love this game and i think they've been doing an incredible job recently like these past few updates have really really been stellar it's, it's just more meant as like i don't know like i said it's just it's just a brain dump you know it's it's 11 40 p.m and i'm just i'm just ranting so yeah hope you guys enjoyed regardless and i'll see you guys in the next upload peace out